For each generation, we will display several important organisms that may or may not be susceptible to that group of cephalosporins. Cocci will be found on the left, while bacilli will be on the right. Organisms in purple boxes are gram-positives, while the gram-negatives are in the pinkish boxes. If susceptible to a particular generation of cephalosporins, the organism will lie within the green area, while those that are not will be in the red area. While there are always exceptions, we will look at the most widely accepted patterns of antimicrobial activity. And for the sake of simplicity, other types of organisms, such as spirochetes, will only be mentioned when relevant. Third-generation cephalosporins are broad-spectrum antibiotics that can treat a wide variety of conditions, such as respiratory tract infections, urinary tract infections, Lyme disease, meningitis, and gonorrhea. Although they are less effective against staphylococci, they provide better coverage against pneumococci, Neisseria species, Haemophilus influenza, and Enterobacteriaceae. Ceftriaxone, an intravenous third-generation cephalosporin, is also usually active against Salmonella, which is not shown here. This generation of cephalosporins is more stable to the beta-lactamases produced by gram-negative bacilli and can often be effective against infections that are otherwise resistant to the first two generations of cephalosporins. Although some Enterobacteriaceae, such as Citrobacter and Serratia, are initially susceptible to these agents, resistance often emerges during therapy. Organisms resistant to the third-generation cephalosporins are considered producers of extended-spectrum beta-lactamase, or ESBL for short, in which case it may be prudent to avoid cephalosporins altogether. With regard to pneumococci, kefjaxone is often effective against strains with intermediate susceptibility to penicillin, but not against strains fully resistant to penicillin. It is also important to note that one agent in this generation of cephalosporins, ceftazidime, also provides coverage in pseudomonas. For more information, check out our full lecture on the spectrum of activity of the cephalosporin antibiotics.